Hello students, welcome back to the section 3 of this uh, first chapter, Linear Equation in Two Variables. In this section we are going to learn about how to use elimination method. <coughs> I am going to use the same equations or pair of equations as we used in substitution method. Uh, those equations were 7x plus 3y is equal to 17 and uh, 4x plus 9y is equal to 17. Naming the equations 1 and 2 before we start. Now remember, it's always essential that whenever we solve a pair of equations, we need to eliminate at least one variable and receive a new equation in which I have one variable with some constants. So in this case, uh, three, uh, sorry, 9 is a multiple of 3. So I can safely say that if I multiply equation number 1 with 3, I'll get 9y on this side and therefore I can do some kind of elimination because that is very easy. We can do it the other way around. We can multiply 4 and 7 accordingly uh, you know, to, in order to get any number we want. But first, we will try to solve it by eliminating 1. So let's see. Step 1 is I am going to multiply equation number 1 with 3 and I will get a new equation. 3 into 7 is 21x plus 3 into 3y is 9y and 3 into 17 is 51. So now this is my new equation, equation number 3. Now I have equation 2, 4x plus 9y is equal to 17. So now I have 9y and I have 9y here. Now what I can do is obviously I can subtract 3 from 2, 2 from 3. It does not matter which sequence you choose. All that matters is that you have to subtract. So now in step number 2, I'm going to subtract 2 from 3. So now 2 from 3 that means 21x plus 9y is equals to 51 minus put a bracket here every time you solve so that you do not make any mistakes in signs 4x plus 9y is equals to 17 over here. Now remember I am subtracting 2 from 3 so I have to eliminate this from the equation above. Now 21x minus plus becomes minus over here. 21 minus 4 becomes 17x minus plus again minus over here. So 9 minus 9 becomes 0y is equals to 51 plus minus becomes again minus 51 minus 17 is 34. This is how I am going to receive 17x is equals to 34 which gives me x is equal to 2. Now, once I substitute this in any of the equation, I will eventually get y equals to 2. All of you know how to substitute the values of x is equal to 2 and receive y equals to 2. So, we will not waste time on that. Now, for some of you who, who might not understand that why I did only y and why not x. So, as I said earlier, 9 is a multiple of 3. 3 times 3 is, is 9. Therefore, this was easy for me to multiply. But I can do this for x as well. <clears throat> so now, this was my first step for solving y. Now, let's say I want to eliminate x. So, I can multiply equation number 1 with 4. Now, the question comes, why did I multiply equation number 1 with 4? Because I see a 4x here. So the moment I multiply equation 1 with 4, I know that 4 is a multiple that this equation, the new equation that I am going to get will be a multiple of equation number of equation number 2. So let's try to multiply equation number 1 first. So now 4 into 7x becomes 28x plus 4 into 3 is 12y and 4 into 17 is 68. So this is my equation number 3. Now, equation number 2 and equation number 3 are not similar clearly as we can see. But can I say if I multiply equation number 2 by 7, I will get 28x here. Yes, I can safely say that because we all know 4 times 7 is 28x. So now, multiplying equation number 2 by 7 gives us 28x plus 9 times 7 is 63 y is equals to 17 times 7 is 119 
This is equation number 4. Now I have two equations, one uh, common variable. I can again use subtracting from uh, for these two pair for these pair of equation and I can get the value for y in this case because I am eliminating x. So now subtracting 4 from 3 28x plus 12y is equals to 68 minus bracket 28x plus 63y is equals to 119. Bracket is important so that you do not make any mistakes while changing the signs. So now minus plus this is minus minus plus this is minus minus plus this is minus. 28x minus 28x becomes 0x. 12y minus 63y that means 63 is greater in the value and the sign is negative. So this value becomes minus 51y is equals to. You can uh, take care of the calculations at your home. You can check if 63 minus 12 is 51 and the sign negative therefore minus 51. Now 68 minus 119 this will become minus 51 again because 119 is greater in numerical value and the sign is negative plus minus is minus so therefore I have minus 51 here. Now I have 0x minus 51y is equals to minus 51. This is minus 51y is equals to minus 51 which implies minus minus cancels 51 51 cancels therefore I have y is equals to 1. Again I have now my y value I can substitute it here here it does not matter where you substitute because we did not change any of the equations and you will eventually get x is equals to 2. So this is how we solve uh, elimination, uh, this is how we solve pair of linear equations by elimination method. Now in order for you to practice again we will have some questions out of the textbook so that you understand how to quickly and easily solve these type of questions. Uh, there is one recommendation from my side the, so in order for you to solve elimination methods uh, in order to use elimination method much more quickly is that you start learning tables from 13 to 20. The easier the tables are, the easier it is for you to save time in exams. Just for a demonstration, let's say 17 times 11. I will calculate here and I am going to write 17 times 11 here because I know the answer. So 17 times 11 is 187. So this took me one second to write this value. Now if somebody who does not know the value, he obviously needs to calculate. So let's see. 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 1 is 1, cross. 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 1 is 1. 7, 1 plus 7 is 8, 187. We both have the same answers but this student took approximately 7 to 8 seconds. Now this is for one calculation and remember this is a recurring number so I did not need to calculate this column sorry this row of values. Let's take a new number. Let's say I have uh, 23 times 7. Let's say I have 23 times 7 so this value is 161. Let's say a student who does not know this value so this is 7 times 3 which is uh, uh, 21 carried over 7 times 2 is 14 14 plus 2 is 16 this is 1 161 again 4 seconds to 5 seconds 1 second therefore you need to remember the tables if you remember the tables it will be much easier for you to solve you will save a lot of time and therefore you will have a lot of time to think on how to solve the questions now there is one particular case of elimination method that we need to understand and uh, this transcends every kind of multiplication we like we cannot remember every table so, so let's take a question 99x plus 101y is equals to 200 or not 200 we let it be 200 and we have 101x plus 99y is equals to 200 again now Clearly, these two are not same. So now we have to multiply this equation by 101 or we have to multiply this equation by 101. 
So I'll get the same values in order to eliminate either this line or this line. Now, if I start calculating 99 times 101, then I'll have to calculate 99, sorry, uh, 99 times 99 and 99 times 200, that will take a lot of time. So in order to save a time, save our time, sorry, we are going to use a simpler method. Let this equation be 1, let this equation be 2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two equations first and I'm going to subtract these two equations in the second step. We'll see what happens. So now, first, adding 1 and 2 and here I'll be subtracting 1 and 2. So now, let's add 1 and 2, this 99 plus 101 is 200x plus 101 plus 99 is again 200x, sorry 200y not 200x and 200 plus 200 is 400. So now I receive a new equation and now I can simplify this by taking out 200 common x plus y is equals to 200 into 2. So now I have 200, 200 common, 200, 200 cancels. So I have x plus y is equals to 2. Let this be equation number 3. Now, 2 subtracting 1 from 2. 99 minus 101 will be minus 2x. I'll elaborate this so that you will understand how this happens. So this is 99x plus 101y is equals to 200 minus bracket over here 101x plus 99y is equals to 200 again. Now checking the signs minus plus becomes minus, minus plus becomes minus, minus plus becomes minus. 99 minus 101, 101 is greater in numeric value, sign is negative so I'll have minus 2x here, 101 minus 99, 101 is greater in value, plus sign, so I'll have plus 2x here and 200 minus 200 is 0. So now I have, sorry, this is y, I have another equation which is y minus x is equals to 0 and I have my 2 common, 2 going on that side does not mean anything, so this becomes y minus x is equals to 0. Or let's do this, y minus x is equals to 0. Let this be equation number 4. Now, look at the, our new equations. I have equation number 3, I have equation number 4. These are much simpler equations than these two equations. So therefore, now, once I get these two equations, I can solve these equations and get the answers quite easily. All I have to do is I have to add 3 with 4 this plus and this minus x will cancel and I'll get 2y is equals to 2 and therefore I'll get the value for x. You can try this at home, I'll give you a question so that you can practice and make sure you do not make mistakes in exams or whatever worksheets you are going to solve. This is our homework section. Question number one is x plus y is equal to nine, x minus y is equal to three. Question number two is two x plus five y equals to minus 18, 7x plus 10y is equals to minus 33, and 3 is 5x plus 6y is equals to 9, 9x is equals to 38. Equation number 4 is 
77x plus 61y is equals to Now these questions are not your uh, questions for homework, these are for your practice. Make sure you do not uh, put the solutions for this in your classwork copy. All of these are for practice. In the next section we will start with the practice set problems and you have to make sure that those question solutions are in your copies. This section will end here. Thank you.